Hello there! Welcome to Storytime for Kids. I'm Mrs. McCurley, and today we are going to start reading The Exciting Story of the Snow Queen by Hans Christian Andersen. This story is told in seven parts, and here is the first one. This story tells of the looking glass and the bits of it. <clears throat> Attention, please! We are going to begin. When we've got to the end of the story, we shall know more than we do now. There was a wicked troll. He was one of the very worst sort. He was the devil. One day he was in a very temper, for he had made a looking glass, which had this property, that everything good and pretty that was reflected in it shriveled away into almost nothing. But everything that was no good and looked ugly came out plain and showed even worse than it was. <gasps> the most beautiful landscapes looked like boiled spinach in the glass and the best of men grew hideous or else stood on their heads and had no stomachs. Their faces were so distorted they couldn't be recognized. And if anyone had a freckle, you could be sure it would spread all over his nose and mouth. It was extraordinarily funny, the devil said. If a kind, pious thought passed through a man's mind, there came such a grimace in the glass that the troll devil <laughs> couldn't but laugh at his clever invention. Everyone who attended the troll school, for he kept a troll school, spread the news. But all about that a miracle had come to pass. You could now see, they said, what the world and mankind really looked like. They ran about everywhere with the glass. And at last, there wasn't a country or a person left who hadn't been distorted in it. After that, they decided to fly up to heaven itself and make fun of the angels and of God. The higher they flew with the glass, the more it grimaced till they could scarcely keep hold of it. Up and up they flew near to God and his angels and then the glass quivered so fearfully with grimacing that it fell out of their hands and was dashed on the ground below, where it broke into hundreds of millions, billions, and even more pieces. Oh, and that very thing made matters worse than they were before, for some are the bits were hardly as big as a grain of sand. And these flew all about in the wide world. And when they got into people's eyes, they stuck there. And the people either saw everything crooked or else had only eyes for what was wrong in anything. For every little splinter of the glass had kept the same power that the whole glass had had. Some people even got a little bit of glass in their heart, and that was horrible, for the heart became just like a lump of ice. Some of the pieces were so big that they were used for window glass, but others, it didn't pay to look at your friends through those window panes, and other pieces were made into spectacles, and that was bad business. For if people put on the spectacles in order to see correctly and judge rightly, Aha! The evil one laughed and laughed till he split <laughs> It tickled him so. But out in the world, little bits of glass were still flying about in the air. And now we are to hear all about it. And that is the end of story one from The Snow Queen by Hans Christian Andersen. Be sure to subscribe 
and join me on the next video where we continue with our story. And until then, happy story time.